the past two days I've I've just been contemplating, you mm. know, about the people who have made a difference in our society, in mm -hmm. our lives. And we Ghana tends to celebrate politicians a lot. Too much. You know. <clears throat> and um last week I was watching something where mm -hmm. a young politician mm -hmm. was in the streets and he was hailed by thousands. Like basically even couldn't move in, in traffic Ghana. in Ghana. And I was asking myself, what has he done? Like apart from being popular. Being popular. <laughs> How does he impact my life? Mm. And then I also just, you know, thought about that so many other people, perhaps at his age, who are doing so many impactful things that nobody cares about, Charlie. that nobody knows about. But who actually are the reasons why perhaps you're able to move from A to B? Mm -hmm. The fact that you're able to send money on your phone, mm -hmm. the fact that you're able to do, you know, and the passing of Morgan Herman Chinu Hesse. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. really yeah. caught yeah. my attention. Yeah, man, you know, was a, you know, a colossus. And he passed away two days ago or three days ago, Quiet, if I'm not mistaken. Ago. Quietly, is, um, you know, Tuesday. Um, very understated in my yeah. estimation. But yeah. for, yeah. And I, I think his worth yeah. to the tech space in this country. I'm telling you. You know, Herman crawled so everybody else could walk, could walk and run, mm -hmm. including those who are running. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so I was asking myself, how come it's just like... It's just come and gone. It's just come and gone. Like, oh, there was a mention. Yeah. You live in trend. To be fair, on you're right. The Facebook yesterday and on Tuesday... People in our community, yes, where 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 lamenting is dead. But you're right; it didn't. John Mahama tweeted about it. Yes, he did tweet about it. I'm not sure if because he knew him personally. It. Yes, he, he described you know? as his friend. But but you're right. And it, 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 imagine if you were in another country like the U.S. Yes, that that was basically the equivalent of maybe a Steve, Steve Jobs, Jobs passing away. Because here, man, you know, say, when it comes to software development, all right. The first Ghanaian to understand it and to make Find a monetary business, value. business yeah. case yeah. out of it. it because we were just basically depending on outsiders. He learnt it, he understood it, he applied it. Mm. So things like Akitia, which he a software he developed for make for making and tracking payments for the uh, the accounting, accounting system. Yes, hey Julo, a system that security for security. You know, he was not just a tech guy who designed things because he can code. He designed solutions and he built a behemoth called Soft Tribe. And this is like first generation of developers. Now you have lots of people who are developers. There's a whole community of them. There's, yeah. It's very sexy now. Yeah. But when he started it, it was very tough. <laughs> very. You know, to not just understand it, but to make a business case and also to solve problems. You know, so Herman yeah. was in a different class. You know, and... Uh, and this morning, I just, you know, want to celebrate that and yeah. urge the people, us as yeah. Ghanaians, yeah. look, we must celebrate people like Herman. Yeah. I would not be upset to read about Herman in a textbook yeah. because of who he is. Yeah. But Ghana being what it is, in five or ten years, Herman's name disappears. Which is something we are trying not to let happen. We, we, will not, we shouldn't allow we should, that. That's exactly the point I'm making, which we is why... Not. I'm using the airtime you've given me on this platform because yeah. without it, where else would I, I be? I'll be perhaps tweeting about it. In a day, it's gone. Perhaps I would be writing about it. It yeah. would live. But I want everybody to think about Herman Shinri and people like Herman. Yeah. You know, in the, we, we, we say we are in an era of digitalization or digitization, whichever mm -hmm. one you want to go with. And it would not be possible for some of the things that are being done now, mm -hmm. that are being mooted, without the steps Herman took in 1991. Yep. Yep. Along with Kwame Bolton and, Co and yes. those who have come along the way. David Kofi Kwame Bolton. Kwame Bolton, Kofi Dazi, Rankat, then you have Estelle. A, uh, there's a guy. You know, Derry Dean, all those boys before, who came. Before then, there's... Oh, I forget this guy's name. Um, someone has helped me. What's his name? Uh... Mention the company, I might be able to help you. He call, they call him Zatochi, but I forget his real name. I'm he, sure that okay, give me a name then. His company is uh, they were in that generation. Sure. He, 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 his company, oh lord, I remember, you know, Nina Kukweno. Yes, people yes. like that 
yeah. mean more to the economy yeah. of this country. Yeah. The economy of this country moves because people, we have thinkers, yeah. innovators. Yep. You know, and you've always made the case that for a, a country like ours to grow, we need thinkers. We need thinkers. Yeah. People who innovate. Yeah. We have a lot of politicians. Yeah. They don't innovate. Yeah. They don't think too much. Yeah. Well, if they think they don't think too deep, they are not risk takers. Yeah. They do the obvious. Yeah. People like Herman did those things so that opportunities could be created. Let me add to what you're saying. You okay. know, some people, when they are born into privilege, they just use that privilege to benefit themselves. Herman was born into privilege. So Michael Kwashi is the name of the Yes. Of Michael Kwashi. They call him Zatochi. Um, so his mother is the chancellor of the University of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And of course, his maternal grandfather was a barrister in Justice of Supreme Court of Supreme Ghana. Court, yes. So he, he was born in Ireland. He went to Infantipim School. Yeah. So he was born to privilege. But if you look at the kind of things Herman did, so think about Aketia. Mm -hmm. Think about Hegelor. Hegelor was something we, we advertised on City so for many, many, many years, many years yeah. where it's a low cost mobile base mass market community security alert system. Where, if, for example, somebody breaches your security, it sends a text to a number on a radio station. A radio station just announces it, also goes to hit a police server. So they hear that there's somebody who. So, a solution that's well thought through, then there was the ERP systems you worked with, you know utility billing systems now ecg you can do like yesterday i went home and realized my credit was finishing mm -hmm. just went on the ecg app so i just went on the device yeah got my app bought 500 series of credit and then input the token into my yes meter device and i have power. and i mean these are things he was thinking about in the early 2000s yeah, and that's the point i'm making so if, it. if we are able to do all these things and Millions of Ghanaians do these things today. And they so, take it for granted, for granted that somebody had to do <laughs> the manual hard work. work of like it's like you, you see, if you are a pioneer of something, right now it's easy to do many things. It's, yeah. Those days they had to do it the hard way. Oui. You know. And you're right. We are, for example, we are talking about STEM schools now. I was watching yes. Channel One yesterday and they were showing the STEM schools that had been built. And I was thinking to myself, in any other country, you can actually name a school after him. Yes. If, if, or if you are doing a coders program, because you are talking about now everybody understands STEM. Yeah. Okay. So even your kids now in school, there's STEM clubs. Mm -hmm. They're in grade three. They know what science, technology, engineering, yes. mathematics is in grade yes. three. Thirty years ago, nobody knew what that was. Yes. So, Richard Nahunu is doing coding, right? I have lots of friends who are ladies who are now hardcore technology people. Mm -hmm. Herman broke the glass ceiling for all this. And the other thing is that technology, in and of itself. Yeah. If it doesn't solve problems and cannot make money, it's not real technology. So I think the real value of Herman is in the problem solving. Solving, yes. Okay, the problem solving dimension. And you are right, we should not allow it to just die of, oh, he's dead, that's it. No, no. no you know, we shouldn't like, allow that. You see, that, like you're saying, this like, POS systems, the, the, the POS, yes. they pioneered POS systems. Wow. You know, POS systems, plenty of things. So, like when, when uh, 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 our kids, are looking up to computer programmers and yeah. others that they want to look yeah. up to. They will mention all kinds of sophisticated names. Nobody will mention very few our kids that is we know. Yeah. You know, because we work in that space. But our kids will say, Well, who is Herman Chinese? What are you talking about? Meanwhile, he's mentioning some twenty four year old yeah. boy in Silicon Valley. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That is who my son or my daughter or before Elon is looking Musk up to there was Herman. Hmm? You understand? So yeah. People like Herman, uh, somebody, uh, Pesol Systems, that was Michael Pesol, 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 uh, that's what I know. Uh, we spoke about Dr. Thomas Mensah. So, so there's, Herm, there's, there's Soft Tribe, there's Pesol, there's B Systems. They were the pioneers, they're not that many. Yeah. All right. There was also a project I was doing called the African Echoes. Yes. Which was creating African audio books for yes. global consumption because he wanted Africans to tell their own stories in, to a worldwide audience. So he was very Pan African. Yeah. Lived in Sierra Leone, Liberia, with that mindset that we are not always supposed to just be there for people to come and help us. We can also yeah. create our own solutions yeah. for other African countries. And he loved to share knowledge. So Herman like to, like he would travel to speak to people, ah. to share about how you can grow in that space, how to yeah. Like, he'll basically motivate you. You know, yeah. my first experience of him mm -hmm. was actually on the CBS. He'll send you a text when you're talking. He'll give you some <laughs> angle. You know, yeah. he'll give you some angle. And then he came for an interview. Yep. You know, when you switched to this format, one of the first people we had in for a chat mm -hmm. was Herman. Yes, yes. Back in the day. You know, and 
his aura yeah. was amazing. So his range. As, he understands history, culture. You know, th- this you morning know? for me is just an appeal mm-hmm. to us as Ghanaians to remember that there are a lot of people who impact our daily lives more than the politician. True. And so, yes, we we can hold up the politicians as our heroes, mm-hmm. but they are real heroes. We shouldn't conflict popularity T- with with impact. Impact. And he's won many awards, too many to mention. For example, he was named 20 of the notable black innovators in technology. Wow. One of the top 20 tech influencers. Uh, among the top 100 most influential Africans of our time. This is a foreign policy magazine. He's been focused on various platforms.